Hello? So, the third and final test for benzoic acid, I have already shown you the previous two. One is the sterification reaction and another was the effervescence of carbon dioxide using sodium bicarbonate. So, both of these two were the characteristic test for carboxyl group be it acetic acid, benzoic acid, formic acid. In our syllabus, we have benzoic acid only. So you can do it in that way and the details have been shown in the previous two video. Now the third and the final test that is the reaction of neutral FeCl3 with benzoic acid solution. So let us see what happens. So first we need to prepare an aqueous solution of benzoic acid and as I say repeatedly take only a little amount of benzoic acid for the aqua solution. It is not soluble in water in at room temperature. Okay. So only a little amount of benzoic acid, half test tube, almost water. You have to heat it to dissolve. Now neutral FeCl3, you know FeCl3, this ferric chloride salt, it is the combination of ferric hydroxide and HCl, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is a very strong acid and FeOH3 is a weak base. So, the nature of the acid is acidic. That means the aqueous solution of FeCl3 is acidic in nature. We need F neutral FeCl3. So, first we take an aqueous solution of ferric chloride and then neutralize it with either sodium hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide and a little bit of precipitate comes. So, we filter it. That filtrate is nothing but neutral FeCl3. In your exam, neutral FeCl3 is supplied. Still, I have said you that how you can also prepare neutral FeCl3. So when we add neutral FeCl3 to the aqueous solution of benzoic acid, it gives a buff precipitate. It gives a buff precipitate. So the first task is to dissolve this benzoic acid in water. Be careful. You should use the test tube holder for this purpose unless and until you are expert in heating test tube and always shake it, don't keep it constantly inside the flame and keep it inclined. So here I am trying to dissolve this benzoic acid. Still it is not completely dissolved but very soon it will dissolve. Okay, so now it is almost dissolved. So this is a clear solution and now I will add this neutral FeCl3 and you will get a buff precipitate. So let's see what happens. See, a buff precipitate is formed. You can add a little more. Okay. And if you are not sure about the precipitate, it is always suggested whenever you have to observe any color of precipitate, it is always suggested filter it out. And now you can clearly see the buff colored precipitate at the wall of the filter paper, right? So this was the final test for benzoic acid. So total three tests, two characteristic tests. One is the esterification, the sweet fruity smell of ester. And the other was the effervescence of carbon dioxide using sodium bicarbonate. You can use sodium bicarbonate solution or better to use a pinch of solid sodium bicarbonate. If sodium bicarbonate is not available, then, then you can use sodium carbonate also. And now the final one that is using neutral FeCl3 to the aqueous solution of benzoic acid and you get a buff colored precipitate, buff precipitate. Okay. So that's all for benzoic acid. We will come up with new videos for the remaining compounds, aniline, glycerol. And one more compound is also there, glucose, but it is given under the section carbohydrate. So we will perform some test for glucose also. Till then. Remain tuned with my channel with the videos. Thank you.